All right, we are at WeBank, and this is our second day at WeBank, and I ran across Marty over here at the financial services area on stage, and I said, I got to grab her because she was sharing some information that was super, super important for women business owners, but this applies to all business owners. So Marty, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you made it to this big stage. Yeah. Hey, everybody. So my name is Marty Hoffer. I'm the founder and CEO of Luminomics. And and I love daylight. The other thing that I love is helping uh, minority-owned businesses gain access to capital. And that really starts with understanding keywords, uh, phrases, and doing your part to be able to tell your story in a way that uh, key stakeholders like uh, CDFIs, credit unions, banks, uh, and even customers and employees can understand. Um, and so it's been a very long journey because frankly, uh, my undergraduate degree is in fine arts. I'm a painter, uh, but I took the time to learn about finance and even get my executive MBA. And my passion again is helping anybody, regardless of uh, your journey with education or access to those types of opportunities, understand how to communicate to get what you need for your business. And more importantly, how to communicate about money, about finance. Now, when you were on stage, the one thing that you mentioned, uh, because we were talking about credit and capital and access, uh, and we know a lot of times that us small businesses have a hard time getting money from big banks. So you had some recommendations and suggestions, and I am specifically want to talk about the CDFI suggestion. And so that way people start doing taking actionable steps and preparing because you also have a goal that you want to meet and we want to help Marty with your goal. First share your goal okay. and then we'll talk about the CDFIs. Great. So my personal goal is to help at least 15 minority owned businesses properly capitalize their business. And, uh, and I believe the first step, action step you have to take is you, you need to find the CDFI, Community Financial, oh my Global gosh, financial. yeah. Uh, CDF, sorry, CDFI, CFI. yep, in your neighborhood and uh, reach out to them and tell them that you want a business coach. And it's like any other training, right? You got to do your part. So that first step is to find the, the CDFI, uh, call them, tell them you want a business coach. You heard about it uh, on GovCon Giants podcast. There you go. Um, and, and then once you get that coach, uh, the first thing that I really want you to work on is your value proposition because you have to be able to tell your story to, to gather customers uh, that pay on time by the way and uh, and employees that can stick with you so they can grow the business uh, with you and of course you've got to be able to tell a story that the uh, lenders whether it's a CFI doing an equipment loan or a micro loan, or a credit union helping you get a line of credit, or your day-to-day -day banking, and depending on the type of business and how big you want to grow, uh, a regular, you know, the big banks, if you will. Now, again, you mentioned about value proposition and some ratios. Tell us about the ratios that we should know and understand for our businesses. Excellent. So you're going to walk in there, get your coach, tell them you want to work on the value proposition. The next thing you're going to do is tell them that you want to understand how to download the financial benchmark ratios of your industry. And you're thinking, well, well, how do I do that? Well, the first step with that is you need to know what your NAISC code is. And you will find that on your taxes, on your tax return. You need to look that up on your tax return and see what it says there. And it's a uh, S-Corp or I believe even uh, corporations. Uh, and, and I guess that's the other thing. If you haven't already separated your business from yourself, you need to do that first. Uh, make it real. Get committed. And so set up S Corp, LLC, whatever that may be that, that makes sense. And then get your NAIC, NAICS code. That's how you get your benchmark ratios. And what that does is those are certain ratios that come from your financial statements, your income statement, your balance sheet, 
that compares your activities in your business to like businesses, right? So if I am a uh, window covering business, 337920, I can type that code in and find out how other businesses like that are performing or lighting design services. I can type that NAICS code in and then I can get access through the public library. So assuming you have your library card, if not, get that too. That's the other task beyond the CDFI is get the library card so that you can log into your local library and ask access Risk Management Association or RMA. And that is the same tool that lenders are using to decide whether or not they're going to lend to you. This, this benchmark is the number they are expecting to see to determine, is it risky? Should I loan to you or not? Now, you are, you said three years ago, you were sitting out in the audience and you didn't know any of this stuff. And now, not only did you reach out to CDFIs, so you're on the board of a CDFI? Yes, it's true. So I was sitting in the audience and, and my personality, which is probably like a lot of entrepreneurs, is if you don't know, you figure it out, right? And so uh, Wells Fargo was sponsoring a uh, Know Your Credit with the National We Bank Conference. I sat in the audience uh, and listened. And now I am connected to my uh, a local CDFI in Seattle, Washington. Okay. Shout out to Business Impact Northwest. And I sit on their board to help other businesses understand how a CDFI can help them. So again, as a small business, you recommend, where do you recommend that we start when we're looking for access to capital? Um, the first place I'm going is the CDFI to okay. or organize my thoughts. And then I want to, uh, I recommend going to a credit union after that. And, and then I guess my last resort uh, is going to the bank and they're gonna give you the best rate. Uh, if, if you can go into the bank and negotiate your very best uh, deal for your line of credit and your credit cards and uh, those tools, and you're gonna be at a big bank for credit cards anyways, but we're really talking about uh, a line of credit. Um, I, I believe if you're ready for that, that the credit union is the first step or the first stop. All right, and one more thing before I let you go. For those of us listening that don't understand our value proposition, can you give us an example of what value proposition is? Sure. So the value proposition for one of my customers uh, that wants to buy a product from me might be, um, if it's a general contractor, we will meet the plans and specifications, but we will save on schedule. GCs are paid by delivering projects on time, on budget, right? And the schedule is the number one reason that they will not meet their profitability goals. So the value proposition has everything to do with understanding what your audience needs and articulating that in a way that makes sense to them. If it's a bank or a lender, they're a business too. And so I might start that conversation uh, addressing some of the five C's of credit and say, I've been in business for over 10 years. I grew up in a family business and uh, some of my key customers are, and I would insert those customer names, and I would say, and I know that my benchmark ratios fall within the industry standards, and so I am an excellent client for you. My question is, what's the best deal you can give me? I like that. That's really nice. I like that. I like that. Uh, one of the things, just uh, when you're looking for CDFIs, because I just helped someone do it, if you just type in CDFI and then your state afterwards, you guys get past the, the paid ads. When you get down, you see a PDF document that has a list of all CDFIs in your state. Uh, and then uh, she recommended earlier, she looked for the ones that are closest to her, but also Mari's a little bit aggressive. So she said she called everyone, <laughs> you know. So I, um, I just want to close with that. All of her information, you know, her LinkedIn. Uh, this is how you spell her name, Marty, right there. That's the name of her company. And we're going to make sure that we help her achieve her goal of helping 15 
small businesses become capitalized? Is that, is that the word? Yeah, I want to help fit at least 15 minority-owned businesses get access to capital so that they're properly capitalized to meet the goals of their business. And so again, the best way I would suggest to reach out to her is we'll connect with her through LinkedIn, but also we'll put her email and contact information that she really likes everywhere that you're watching this content. Thank you so much.